everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Jess. I have a very exciting weekend vlog. So we are going to Boston. I'm so excited. I really wanted to go back here. It's been a while since I've really been here. I came last year for a very brief work trip and I really didn't get to see anything or enjoy it really much. So other than that, I really haven't been here in like 10 plus years. So I'm so excited. We are going to try to do as much as we could. And of course, get good food, good restaurants, lots of walking around. So for those of you who don't know, I'm actually from New Jersey. So it's about a three and a half hour drive to Boston, not too bad. So I'm so excited. So I actually just got my hair done the other day. I got a lot blonder and I also got it cut a lot shorter, a little hard to tell. In the video here but yeah i love it looks so good thought i would get it done before i went to boston and yeah i'm just so excited and let's get into the boston vlog So we just made it to Boston. We are staying in this really cute little apartment and yeah, it's just gonna be a chill. It's Thursday, October 1st and the sun just set. It was so beautiful and we're gonna get dinner. We're gonna go into town. I'm not exactly sure where we're gonna get food yet because there are so many amazing options. You guys will see what we end up doing. It is our first full day here. It's Friday, October 2nd, and we are in our apartment now. I just got ready. Bring this really cute baby blue sweater from Urban and my favorite Ogolde jeans and a little necklace. So we're gonna go into the city now. We're gonna get breakfast. I think we're gonna go to Mother Juice. We're kind of craving like a smoothie or smoothie bowl, just something like healthier, lighter. And then we'll walk around. So we wanna walk on Newberry Street again. So last night we had dinner at Stephanie's on Newberry. It was really, really good. It was so amazing and such a cute little street. So we're gonna walk on that street. Then we'll probably walk on Commonwealth Ave, see all the beautiful like brownstones, maybe get some pictures. And then we'll just make our way towards the Freedom Trail. So we'll do the Boston Public Garden, the State House, and all of that, and just make our way around. We're going to try to see as much as we could. We have today and tomorrow basically as our full days to see the, as much of the city as we are able to. It looks like should be good for the weather. And yeah, I'm looking forward to some breakfast and just exploring the city. The buildings are so cool here. I love this street, it's so cute. It's gonna be around here. Oh, there it is. So we are just picking up breakfast. We're going to Mother Juice and we're getting smoothie bowls. I'm so excited. Yay! 
the Coco Power Bowl. So we just got breakfast, we went to Mother Juice. I got a smoothie bowl, it was very good. So we are gonna be walking around now. We are walking in Copley Square right now. We're in like the Back Bay area. We were just on Newberry Street, we got breakfast. Then we're gonna make our way to Commonwealth Ave, I believe. Yeah, we're just roaming around, exploring. We're hoping it doesn't rain, because it is a little cloudy, but we'll see. I feel like it'll be fine. I don't think it's gonna rain, but we'll see. <laughs> no biggie, if it does, we'll make it work. We are walking on Commonwealth Ave now, and it is absolutely stunning. I just love the look of the brownstones. It's so cute. It just looks so fall here right now, and I love it. Architecture is stunning. Okay, this is literally the nicest street. I feel like, wow. I feel like the brownstones give me like Brooklyn vibes, but this is so much more spread out than New York. This is so beautiful. It's just the fall foliage and the leaves all on the grass and the brownstones. It just feels like October right now, I love it. We're gonna walk over to the Public Garden, the Boston Commons, and we're gonna start the Freedom Trail. We are in the Boston Public Garden. So pretty. We actually um, walked through this last night really briefly after dinner, but it was dark. So it's really nice now to just see all the flowers in the pond. This public garden is so beautiful. There's a nice bridge. We're just sitting on a bench now and just relaxing and trying to take in the view. Yeah, I feel like when you travel, it's just really nice, or when you're in a nice city, to just sit, take, or stand, just stop in your place, take a look at the view, just take it all in, and just appreciate it, because it's just so beautiful, so, and peaceful here, and just really thankful that we're able to come here. You want to follow us, little squirrel? <laughs> the squirrels here are so friendly. They'll like come up to you. So cute. Oh my god, it is raining. 
okay, the rain won't stop us. Yeah. It's starting to drizzle now, but it's not too bad. So I think we're gonna try to find some lunch. I don't even know what time it is. It's probably like 3 p.m. you said? Probably like 3. Yeah, so it's like 3 p.m. We actually had breakfast at like 12, like late. So we're gonna try and find a little casual lunch and then we're gonna keep walking. It's definitely taking us longer to walk around than we thought because it's just so beautiful. I have to keep taking pictures and I just wanna stop and pause and take in the moment, so. Yeah. So we're walking through the Boston Common now. Freedom Trail. So we literally already walked over 10,000 steps today and we haven't even done the Freedom Trail yet. stop number six it's the Boston City Hall and then we're just gonna make our way down the Freedom Trail now since we're already on it and find a nice little place for lunch and yeah we were so hungry Still haven't picked a place for lunch and it's a little rainy so right now we are in the boston public market we might go to a restaurant though right out here so, so we'll see clam chowder so we just had lunch at the Union Oyster House and it was so good. We got the clam chowder, we got like scallops, and calamari, so really good. Good seafood, very historical. And it's starting to look a little bit nicer out now. Some more blue skies, which is nice because it rained before a little bit. And yeah, we are continuing on the Freedom Trail and we want to get a little dessert. So we're probably going to stop at modern and or Mike's pastries because we need to know which really is the best because we've heard about the debate. got modern pastries. We got chocolate mousse and tiramisu. So we will see how it is. How is it? Very good. <laughs> These are so good. Definitely recommend. 
So we are in the North End. We're in basically like the Little Italy of Boston. And we got the Modern Pastry. It was really, really good. We definitely want to try Mike's Pastry to compare them. Not sure right now if we have the room for it, but we will at some point. The weather's clearing up, the skies are blue. And yeah, it's just so pretty, a beautiful day. We just got the stop 13 of 16 and we're doing pretty good. We are making our way. We had to do a little detour because that church is closed right now. walked over the bridge. Wait, where are we now? The Paul Revere Park. So, yeah, the Paul Revere Park. Um, so we're looking at the TD Garden and the bridge and all that. And it's just so nice because it's golden hour now and the sun's probably going to be setting soon. So really happy the sun came out. But yeah, it's been a really nice Friday. We have done so much walking today and we're probably going to get dinner. I, we were thinking of going to Giacomo's, get some a nice Italian. We're a little tired. <laughs> it's a pretty sunset. The view is so pretty from the marina. Like we're overlooking all the boats and the TD garden, all the buildings and the bridge. It's just so, so beautiful. Great way to start the evening. Last stop of the Freedom Trail. Good morning, it is the next day. It is Saturday. I keep thinking it's like a day later than it is. But it is Saturday, October 3rd, I think, I don't even know. And we are heading to breakfast. We had such a long, amazing day yesterday. We walked 13 plus miles, I think. We hit almost 30K steps, which is pretty good. And yeah, so today we're basically just gonna try to see everything that we didn't see yesterday. So I'm thinking, we're gonna get breakfast now. We're gonna go to the breakfast club for breakfast, and then from there we're gonna go to Harvard Square, go to Cambridge area, and then we'll just kinda go from there, but we just wanna hit everything we didn't see, and yeah, be a nice, another long day, and I love Boston so much. I wish I had longer to stay here, but we're making the most of it, so it should be a good day. We just had an amazing breakfast. The Breakfast Club in Alston, definitely recommend it. So now we're in Harvard Square. We're just gonna try to find somewhere to park and just kind of walk around for like an hour or so. It looks so cute here, so. Yeah, I just love the historic architecture and the buildings. Harvard Square. So nice today. You wanna go down this way? Mm -hmm.
so we just went back to the apartment for a second we changed and i felt like i needed to just put something cozy on it's like 4 p.m now i put my hair up i put some high-waisted leggings on this cute little sweater and sneakers because we are doing so much walking so sneakers are a must i feel like here or just good comfortable shoes yeah so we're gonna go park over by the boston commons and we'll probably stop at tate i heard that place is really good and just grab something really quick to hold us over until dinner later we are gonna check out acorn streaks i know that's like the picturesque cobblestone street that is great for pictures so yeah definitely want to get some shots there and just check it out and yeah it should be a lot of fun got gelato, we're walking down Charles Street. walking around Beacon Hill. It's so beautiful here. We are going up the footbridge and it's a beautiful, beautiful sunset, beautiful day. Sunday we just parked the car and we're in the seaport district we're gonna spend a few more hours here and then we're gonna go back home so it's been a really really nice weekend so far we'll get a little breakfast and yeah just explore the area It's 
sunny day. I feel like it's summer again, but it's chilly. Because I feel like I'm just on a nice summer getaway. Looks like we're starting. We're just walking around the seaport. We just got tate. It was really, really good. And my sister um, is inside eating at this restaurant. And we have, she has no idea we're right outside the window. It's kind of funny. We're waiting to see if they notice. She ended up noticing us. I texted her a picture uh, that we were able, we took of them through the window when she came out. They said they had a really nice brunch there. So we are by the harbor right now and it's so beautiful. We just bumped into my sister. Oh wait, she's right there. I'm gonna get her. We just bumped into my sister. Yes, yeah, so they were eating breakfast or brunch over here. We're on the pier at the harbor right now. We uh, went to Tate before and we just like met up, so. It's a small world. We're all here in Boston right now. <laughs> but I don't even know if I've said this on my channel, but I have a twin sister actually. And we both decided to come to Boston for the weekend. So they got here a day after us. And yeah, it's just like an easy place for us to get to. We are just sitting on this little pier promenade. I'm eating the cookie that I got from Tate. It's so good. We don't want to leave. This looks like a beautiful like garden trellis for wedding photos. So we are starting to drive home now. We had such a great weekend. I hope you guys all enjoyed this vlog. I love doing all these types of vlogs because I love having the videos to look back on and just all the good memories of the trips. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you all in my next video.